Hello and welcome to Bilingual Analytics. My name is Roland and today we are going to build a custom made reset all or reset to default button to our report users. Why do we need that? Firstly, because it looks better than the default reset button in Power BI. Secondly, we can help our users by placing that button in a more convenient location within the report. But before we jump into this, make sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button so you never miss a new episode. Clicking on the bell icon also helps a lot. Based on my experience, for many users to click on a button that says reset to default can be scary. I'm not sure why, but my guess would be limited technical skills. I must admit, resetting something could sound scary for some. But anyways, let's not get bogged down here. As always, we are going to focus on user experience and how to further enhance our reports with elements that could provide additional value to our users. With that said, let's head over to Power BI service and start with the end result. By default, we have this button at the top right corner in the service. This is the reset to default button. On this report page, we have a few slicers and a couple of visuals. Let's apply some filters to this report randomly. At this stage, you can click on the reset button and you will be able to start over. A single click or I would rather say two clicks, can get the users out of trouble and provide another chance to start from fresh. So it's not game over, insert coin. As I mentioned before, we are going to replicate the same functionality of this button, but replacing with something that should be a bit easier for our users to find and maybe less scary to click on. So let's head over to the second page of the report. Here, you can find a dedicated button that says Fresh Start. Of course, you can name this to Start Over or Restart or whatever floats your boat. Let's do some more filtering here. After some slicing, we can click on that Fresh Start button and we will achieve the same result as the Reset to Default button did. This means that we have achieved what we wanted to see. But how can we create this button? Let's head over to Power BI and I'll show you. Here we are in Power BI and you can see the button. Once I click on the button and show you the actions, you can see that it is referencing a bookmark. So what sort of a bookmark do I have here? It is nothing more than a single bookmark that I saved without any filters applied. Once all of these are linked together, we can assign the bookmark to a newly created button. The best part is that our new fresh start button is going to work with row level security as well. Meaning that we don't have to set up multiple bookmarks for our starting point. Let me quickly show you that. Now I'm logged in as Bill and this user only has access to Australia. If I click on the warehouse slicer, you can see only Australia is available, but the underlying report still contains all other countries. Let's filter the report further as well. If we click on our fresh start button, our default security settings will be presented, which means that Bill can only access details for Australia. 
It is reassuring to know that we are not going to sacrifice role level security over this design and user experience upgrade. I honestly believe that these small adjustments can make a significant improvement when it comes to user experience. A button like this is definitely less scary than a reset to default one, especially when you consider that it also involves a secondary confirmation, which means that we are not only creating a better look and feel for our report, we also save some time by removing one click for the user. This is what I call streamlining. Would you consider replacing the default button to your own custom built one? Let me know down in the comment section below, along with any other question about this topic. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new today. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a new episode. Stay tuned for more to come. See ya!